Okay, so welcome to uh, Whangarei, and uh, we're looking forward to hear what you've got for us tonight, so let's enjoy it all. Thank you. Good, uh, good evening, church. Happy Sabbath. I'm going to ask all of you to stand on your feet tonight. Stand on your feet. Um, as we come into God's presence. Um, and, and, and before we start, let's just, um, I'm going to ask you to, t- to turn to the wall that I'm pointing to. Come on, face the wall. And just put your arms on the person's shoulders in front of you. Give them a little massage. A lot of you have had strenuous weeks working. Some of you watching TV, I don't know who that is. Just give them a massage. Awesome. Okay, turn to the other side. Give the other person a massage. Now's your chance if you like someone. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, face forward. Don't sit down, keep standing. We want to invite you to sing with us tonight as we worship God, starting off this first song, Lord, I lift your name on high, because that is what we've come to do tonight. Amen? And let us to lift up God's name on this Sabbath night, on this day. So let us sing. Here we go. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I love to sing. Lord, I love to sing your praises. And I'm so glad you in my life. And I'm so glad you came to save us. Sing out, church. You came from heaven to earth to show the way. From the earth to the cross, my debt to pay. From the cross to the grave. From the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on high. That sounds wonderful. But we're going to do something different now. We're going to sing the song again from the beginning. And we, from Australia, are going to sing each line. But we want you, the Kiwis, okay, to echo us, okay? So if you think you can do that, let me hear you say amen. Amen. Let me hear you say amen, church. Okay, so we're going to sing. Here you go. Lord, I lift your name on high. Come on, Lord, I love to sing your praises. I'm so glad you're in my life. All together now. I'm so glad you came to save us. You came from heaven to earth to show the way. From the earth to the cross, my debt to pay. From the cross to the grave. From the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift you your came. name on high. You came from heaven to earth to show the way. From the earth to the cross, my debt to pay. From the cross to the grave, from the grave to the sky, Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift. Lord, I lift your name on high. Lord, I lift. Lord, I lift your name on high. One more time. Lord, I lift your name on high. Thank you so much for singing. Keep standing. Don't you dare sit down, okay? We want you to sing with us a beautiful hymn. And I know a lot of you are like, praise the Lord, a hymn. Amazing grace. And isn't it so wonderful that we have a God that imparts His amazing grace on us every minute, second, hour of the day. Amen. So let us just come today, let us just come tonight, all who are weary, heavy laden, and let's just sing and proclaim to God and just say thank you for your your amazing grace. Let's sing. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that says. Twice great. 
God, we just thank you so much because a lot of us here used to be blind, spiritually blind, but now because of you, because of your son, Jesus Christ, we we can see, we are free. And so Father, tonight I pray, Lord, for the service, that this is not just another ordinary service, but this is just a time and a place that you have appointed, that we can just come together, this church, this town, Whangarei, that we will just um, come together to worship you on the Sabbath, to acknowledge that we can't live without you, just to, just to thank you, just for letting us breathe, for giving us this opportunity just to come here tonight, to just to say thank you. Thank you for your forgiveness. Thank you for the Sabbath. Thank you for every blessing that you've given us up to this day. Thank you, Lord. And so tonight, we pray for your anointing, your anointing that will transform lives, that will encourage, that will inspire, that will affirm. And so Father, tonight, we give you our hearts, we give you our souls. And tonight we just pray for your joy to fill this church tonight in every heart that is in here. And we ask all of these things in your beautiful name. Amen. Thank you so much, church. You can take a seat. Well, good evening, everyone. Hello. Hi. <laughs> well, my name is Priscilla, for those of you who didn't hear. Um, but just... I'm just going to tell you what happened outside, just in case no one knows. We actually got our keys locked in the car, so and all of our uniform was in there and everything. So I apologise, but thank you so much for waiting patiently. We are Endless Praise, or EP for short, and this is a full-time Christian singing ministry that has been going on for about 24 years. Now, if you're looking at us and you're thinking, 24 years, you know what, you're right. We have not been here the whole time. We are not even 24, some of us ourselves. But this ministry is a volunteer ministry, and it's had over a hundred people go through it and um, you know it's just we consider it a real privilege and an honor to serve God in what we do and we use music as our tool to evangelize in the name of Jesus and we get to tour around all places we get to go to all different kinds of churches all different kinds of schools you know sometimes we even get the opportunity to go into detention centers and jails and nursing homes and you know wherever God sends us we will go and um, we are based in Sydney we are from Australia but we are so excited to be here touring throughout New Zealand. This is my second time here, but last time I was here for four days, so I'm not gonna count it because it wasn't like, it doesn't do it justice. What I've seen of New Zealand, it's beautiful and it is such a, a blessing to go through it, um, traveling in Jesus' name. And you know, now we're just gonna take this opportunity to introduce ourselves individually. My name is Priscilla and I actually come from Sydney. Yay! It's cool. I don't even get cheers when I'm in Sydney and I say that I come from Sydney. It's cool. It's totally fine. Um, but yeah, this is um, my first year in this ministry. I'm 21 years old and um, I just, I really hope that tonight that you look beyond the people who are up here, that you look beyond the words, but you see the message that we represent. And we're only here to glorify Jesus' name and to lift Him up. So I pray that today you'll be blessed. 
Hi church, how are you doing? Good? Hands up if you've had a really strenuous week. Yeah, so only two of you. Wow, you guys are perfect. <laughs> well, uh, my name is Dee and I um, live in Australia now, but I was born in New Zealand. Praise God. I should go kiwi, 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 and you guys can go oi, 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 but I won't do that. Um, I was born in Wellington, and tonight, like Priscilla said, we want you to um, to just take this moment and treasure this moment as um, just a time and place that you just got encouraged and inspired um, by the music because of God, and that is our prayer. So have fun with us, you know, um, sit back and relax, and may, may God warm your hearts tonight and just encourage you. Is that okay? Amen. I'm D, by the way. Good evening, church. My name is Jake, and like D, I was born here in New Zealand. I was born in Auckland, so it's good to come back home and um, see see our beautiful country and how green it is compared to Australia. Well, I first of all like to thank Bill for calling his brother-in-law to open the car for us. <laughs> you know, during that whole experience, my heart was like, and you guys are all sitting here thinking, where is endless praise? <laughs> but you know it's good to come to the Sabbath and you know sometimes it's like that during the week our hearts just non-stop but it's good to come to the Sabbath and just relax and know it's just a day between you and God so tonight just sit back and worship God bless hi everyone hi it's great to be here tonight my name is Cassie and I come all the way from the fabulous magnificent wonderful amazing city of yes it's Sydney thanks for laughing Okay, going to take that as good. Um, and I'm just going to quickly just introduce a couple of the guys that are really important to this team as well. Over here on the guitar, we have Jarrell. Okay, and Jarrell is blessed like me because where is he from, guys? New Zealand. Yeah, he's from Sydney. Not New Zealand. I heard New Zealand. That's wrong. The wrong answer. He's from Sydney. Um, so that's Jarrell. He plays guitar for us. And down the front here, we have Jason. And Jason's from a place called Shepparton. Has anyone heard of it? Okay, nobody. There you go. Shepparton in Victoria in Australia. Okay, and he plays drums for us. And up the back we have Etienne, okay, very French name. And um, Etienne's from a place I'm sure we all know, it's called Curranbong. Does everyone know that place? Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> I was like, oh no. Okay, so that's where Etienne's from. He's from Curranbong in Australia and he plays bass for us. But um, it's just great to be here with you guys tonight. We just pray that you'll be blessed and um, just sit back, enjoy the music guys and just enjoy what God has for you tonight. Surely the Lord is in this place. How awesome is this place. And surely the Lord is in this place. How awesome is this place. This is none other than a house of God. This is none other than His dwelling place. This is none other than a house of God. This is none other than His dwelling place. The gate of heaven And surely Angels are in this place How awesome Is this place And surely Angels are in this place how awesome is this place? This is none other than a house of God. This is none other than His dwelling place. This is none other than a house of God. This is none other than His dwelling place, the gate of heaven. All right. 
This is an awesome place. Like the song we just sang. So we want to ask all the awesome kids to come on up for this little segment that we have, okay? So if you're a young child, okay? A your little kid. Anime. Okay, come on to the front. Come on up. Don't be scared. Woohoo! Awesome. Yes. Yay! All right. Come and take a seat here. Just come and sit on the floor. Face me. Hi, guys. High five. All right. Well, we want to share a song with you, but oh, 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 hold on. Oh, what's happening? Oh my goodness. Cassie, how are you? I'm not too good. Everyone go, oh. What's wrong, Cassie, babe? Well, you see all these beautiful kids that are here tonight. They can do all these fabulous things and I can't do anything. Well, what do you like to do? Mm. I like to draw. Well, that's something that you can do, Cassie, babe. Really? And you know what, Cassie? You can draw like all the like cool stories in the Bible, like Jonah and the whale, and you can do like um, Jesus Christ and the miracles and the healings that he, he did. And you know what you could also do? You can like draw all the animals that went into the ark. Really? Yes, and did you know, did you, did you know that all of, all of our talents are used to create the body of Christ and every, everything that we do is important. So drawing is important. Cool. So I'm going to go down here and ask my little friends, okay? I'm going to pick someone. I want to know what you guys like to do. Okay, so you over here, come up here. Come up here. Come stand next to me. What's your name in a really loud voice? Zion. Say it again. Zion. Zion. Say, hey, everyone say hi, Zion. Okay, and how old are you? Not ten. Ten, okay. I'm going to tell you my age. But what do you like to do? Ride on my bike. Oh my goodness. You like to ride on your bike. Okay, what kind of bike do you have? Um, Just a bike. Just a two wheeler? Yep. Not a three wheeler? No. Because you're 10 years old? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Take a seat, girl. Thank you. Okay, okay. I'm uh, you in the green. Come. I saw you walking into church. Okay, what's your name? Kyle. Kyle. Everyone say hi, Kyle. Hi, Kyle. It's a very manly name. And how old are you? Your age. I remember being eight. And what do you like to do? Hunting. Hunting! Whoa! What do you like to hunt? Big game. Pardon? Oh, you like the game. Okay, come, 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 come back here, okay? Um, so you don't go hunting for like squirrels or rabbits or anything like that? It just, it's like a game. Big game. Like, like goats and that. Oh, okay. We'll take a seat. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Whoa, you learn something new in Whangarei every day. Okay. Here you. Come on. I love your blue jacket. What's your name? Brianna. Everyone say, hi, Brianna. Hi, Brianna. And how old are you? Nine. Nine. And what do you like to do? Reading. What do you like to read? Chapter books. Chapter books? What are chap oh, chapter books. Wow, okay. And what's like your favourite, 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 favourite book you like to read? I don't know. You don't know because you have a lot of books. You have a lot of favourites. Okay, well, take a seat. Well, guys, that's really awesome. Okay, but we want to share a song of you guys. And we want to let you know that every talent that you have or something that you're good at is important because it's used to create the body of Christ. For example, we're going to sing a song. And it talks about all the different parts, some of the parts of the body, like the eye, the heart, and, and the ears. But you, it can't function by itself. It needs all of the other body parts to work together. But we just want to let you know that um, everything that you do, like your talents, it's important. Talents, talent, it's important because um, it's used, when you use it together, you create harmony, just like our singing, okay? So... We are going to sing a song called Body of Christ and we're going to start with Cassie and she is the eye. So show me your eyes. Okay, I saw someone just go like that, just here. 
your eyes, okay? So she's going to sing her part and we want you guys to follow her, okay? Here we go. Uh, we are. I am the eye, I go blink, blink. I am the eye, and I can wink. I am the eye, but I can't think. This belongs to my friend, the brain. The brain, show me your brains. Oh, 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 oh okay, I thought you were touching them. Yeah, your brains, yep, that's correct, okay? So Priscilla's gonna sing the brains, and the brains, sorry, so let's follow her actions. Here we go. I go free to fret, 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 fret. I'm the brain with electric patterns, patter pit. Yes, I'm the brain and I pitter patter quite a bit. Yes, I pitter patter pitter all the time. All right, thank you, Priscilla. Okay, well, I'm going to sing the ears. So show me your ears. And ears are important because we use our ears too. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you very much. And over there too. Okay, so here we go. Hearing, hearing. Small ears, hearing, we don't miss much, hearing all the time. Thank you. Okay, last but not least, we have the heart. And the heart is important because the heart keeps us alive. Okay, so Jake's going to do the heart and we're going to follow his actions. Here we go. I am the heart, love dub, I go. I am the heart, love dub, like so. I pump the blood from head to toe. I am the heartbeat of life. Let's just give Jake a clap because he's the only male in this group. And <laughs> the, the singer, out of the singers. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to put all of these parts together and we are going to create the body of Christ, okay? And so we want you to follow us and just enjoy the song. It's called The Body of Christ. I am the eye, I go blink, blink. I am the eye, and I can wink. I am the eye, but I can't think. This belongs to my friend, the brain. I, I go further, 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 blink. I'm the brain I with the electric eye, patterns, but I can't pit. wink. Yes, I'm the brain, I and I pitter patter, patter, I can't bit. think. Yes, I this pitter, belongs patter, to my friend, the brain. I go further, I go hearing. I'm the brain, small ears, I can't Brain, we I don't I miss much hearing all the time. I'm hearing, hearing, I'm the brain, I'm the eyes, I hearing, we don't I miss much hearing all the time. I'm hearing, I'm hearing, I'm small ears, but hearing, we don't I miss much hearing all the time. We are the body of Christ, we are the body of Christ, together bringing His love to the world. We are the body of Christ, we are the body of Christ, together bringing His love to the world. We work together, we work together, we're doing it with cooperation. We work together, we work together. We're doing it with cooperation. Amen, 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 amen. 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 Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Thanks for participating. Just ask you guys so you can go back to your seat and um, you can sit back where you were sitting before. You know, there's a lot of things that this world um, tries to offer us and to sound appealing to us in order to fix our problems. And a lot of the things that we find in life are just temporary fixes onto what's really going on in our life. And, you know, our Father in heaven, He knows exactly how to he knows exactly how to be with you and to help you and to carry you through whatever situation you're going through. He doesn't need anything. He doesn't need a, a particular object or a particular thing to get you through what you're going through. He just wants to come and completely save your day. And He's the only one that can do it and make your heart completely whole and make you feel complete. And it won't be a temporary fix. It'll be something eternal. This is song is called Save the Day. I saw you walking down the street, crying on your own Thinking how will I make it through the night I know you think you're just forgotten, you say you're too far gone You've been hiding for so long, just breathe 
I'm here and it'll be alright. Let me be the one to fight it all. I'll stand between you and your fears. I'll be the one to take your place. Let me take all the scars. I want to save the day. I saw you fighting in your weakness, you did it all again Then you ran away feeling so ashamed You thought you threw away your chances of ever coming home But once again you thought I'm wrong Let me be the one to fight it all I'll stand between you and your fears I'll be the one to take your place Let me take all the scars I wanna save the day oh, oh, oh. And I know you, I still love you So let me be the savior of it all Take your place Let me take all the scars I want to save the day The hours The minutes Every moment of your life The days The hours The minutes Let me take all the scars Bruises and old I want to save, yes, Jesus wants to save your day. This next song we're going to do is uh, an old school gospel quartet song. Now, who loves the old school gospel quartet? Beautiful. I, I loved, uh, grew up listening to it and singing uh, gospel quartet, but um, when, um, when I was growing up, I, I sang it with um, all male singers. So this is the first time I'm singing a gospel quartet song with three other females. So it's a little bit different. It's, uh, I believe the genre back then was called uh, barbershop. Now it's called uh, new school hair salon. So it's something a little bit different. <laughs> this one's called uh, it's, uh, Got To Do Right. There's no need of standing up for the right Unless you're gonna stand up against the wrong Tell me how you're gonna ever stop from being weak Unless you make your mind up to be strong Well, you got to do right Cause it won't be long It won't be long now let me tell you that it's easy to hate your enemies and it's just as easy to love your friends. Tell me you will have to live a life. The Bible tells you you got to let the love of God come in. Well, you got to do right. Because it won't be long. It won't be long. Don't you want to love him better? Don't you want to love him more? Can't you hear the Savior knocking? He's a knocking at your door. Oh, don't you want to make him hey, he's to meet your maker before you got to deal with the undertaker. He will take you right now if you are willing. Don't you know the Bible is fulfilling? You got to do right. Because it won't be long. It won't be long. You got Right, cause it won't be long. It won't be long to do right. Oh, live a life. You got to do right. Oh, live a life. You got to do right. Oh, live a life. You got to do right. Oh, live a life. You got to do right. Oh, live a life. You got to do right. Oh, live a life. You got to do right, oh, live a life. 
you got to do it or live a life. And you've got to do right. Right. <laughs> Thank you very much. Haven't sung that low in a long time. Um, well, I want to share with you my story and where I've come from. And I um, grew up in Wellington, okay, Windy Wellington. Um, and that's where I grew up. I was born um, in, in Wellington. And I am an Islander. I come from a Samoan background. And if you know Samoans, if you know any Islanders, we love food. Okay, we love to laugh, we love family, and we love music. And I grew up listening to a lot of, you know, the quartet and, and choirs and, and, you know, just, just grew up having a very happy life. But unfortunately, at a very young age, I was told that I wasn't good enough. I was told that I wasn't pretty enough. I was told that I was an embarrassment. And on top of all of that negative stuff, I was also physically abused. So I grew up very insecure, very... Um, with a low self-esteem and perhaps using, you know, all that happiness as a mask when really deep down inside I was really, I was a broken person and I, I, I went to church but a lot of times I questioned this God that my family worshipped and I was like, God, are you even real? God, can you just help me? Help me to love myself. Help me to just, to, just, just to see, just to see how life can really be like happy. And unfortunately, I went looking for love in all the wrong places. And I went looking for love in all the wrong people. And I um, remember a memory being 21 years of age, coming home in the early hours of the morning and saying this prayer to God. And I said, God, can you help me to change? Can you help me? Um, can you just be real in my life? Because all of these things that I put before you have become addictions. And, and, I, and I just really need you right now. And all the years and anger and frustration that I had towards the people that had said all that negative stuff, I let it out to God that night. And God, in the splendor and, and just the way that He is, He answered that prayer. And many prayers like that. And I remember one Sabbath going to church, because I still went to church. And I remember um, reading the record, as you do on the Sabbath, okay, sometimes during Sabbath school, I don't know. And you're reading the, the record, and at the back, um, they have advertisements. And as I was reading this advertisement, it said that in this praise, we're looking for some singers, not sinners, singers. They were advertising for singers. And I was like, at that point in my life, you know what, I want to change. I want to change. I, I love to sing. And so... I thought, okay, I'll send them a demo and let's just see what happens. So I sent them a demo of me singing and I got accepted into the group. So in 2001, I flew the 300 hours to Sydney and that became my home. Um, and at first it was really hard. I think for myself, um, being um, part of a ministry like this is a very, I think it's a very challenging thing. I knew no one in this group. I had never heard of Ennis Praise. I had never heard of their music. So all of these guys were strangers and I felt felt so unworthy because I was surrounded by all these lovely Christians who um, they, they love to speak about God because I came from a, a, a background where people read their Bibles and prayed in order to be saved. And for the first time in my life, I was around Christians who prayed and read their Bibles because they knew that they were saved. And so I thought, you know what, I'm so not good enough to be in this group. But one night, one of my newfound friends and I, in, 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 in endless praise, we went for a walk. And it was a beautiful night. There was a cool breeze in the air and the stars were out. And the topic of our discussion was Jesus Christ. And I believe that every word that was spoken that night came from God's mouth himself to me. And God said to me, you know what, Dee? You are beautiful. Dee, you're you know, you're my masterpiece. And D, the world will always look at the outward appearance, but I look at your thoughts and intentions. I look at your heart. And D, I have always been there for you and I've never left you. And guys, as those words resounded in my spirit and as it echoed in my heart, I sensed a great peace and a great joy, not as the world has to give it, because I know what the world has to give. And it's always temporary. But I knew that what I was experiencing that night could only come from Jesus Christ himself. And I realized two things. Number one, God brought me here to this group. And no matter how, how unworthy I feel, he brought me here to make me realize that he is real. And number two, 
For so long I thought God never loved me because of my past and because I never did this or that. But for that for the first time in my life I realized God loves me, not because of anything that I could ever do, but because of who he naturally is. And so I have been serving God in this group for eight years. But more importantly than that, I guess I have been walking with God for eight years this year. And I tell you what, it's been an amazing journey. It's not, it's, it's been challenging. It's not all, all happy, happy, joy, joy. You know, there are challenges. But I will tell you that there is no doubt in my mind that there is hope because He is hope. There is no doubt in my mind that there is peace because He is peace. And there is no doubt in my mind that there is life because my best friend Jesus has given me life. He has freed me from all of that. There is no more condemnation. So I can freely and with confidence tell you tonight that God is real because He lives in me and because I am happy. And those things that I heard as a young child does not bind me anymore. But Jesus is who um, I follow. And Jesus is who, um, He's my best friend. And so as we share this beautiful song, it's called It's Alright. And I remember hearing the song for the first time and thinking, this is the song. This is the song I love to hear. It, it just says, it's alright. You know, Matthew chapter 6, verses 31 to 33, Jesus says, don't worry about food or drink or clothing. Why be like the pagans who are so deeply concerned about these things? I know your needs, and I will give you all you need if you just seek me. Seek you first the kingdom of God, and I will add those things into your life. And so as we share this song, I pray that the words will just really and warm your heart tonight, that they will encourage you tonight to know that you are worthy, that you are valued, that you can leave this building once again to, to, um, to serve Him and just know that you have great purpose as I know now that I have a purpose in this life and that is to serve Jesus Christ and let everyone know that I come in contact with. And it's all right. Side and he'll take good care of you. Oh, oh, yeah, it's all right. He's he's on your side and he he knows all that you can go through. He said, Oh, you. Of little faith, you see the sparrows in the sky, unencumbered by the cares of the world. And I feed thee, and even then, I clothe the lilies in the fields. How much more to me are you worth than these? I get my son for you, it's alright He's, he's by your side And he'll, he'll take good care of you And it's alright He's on your side And he, he knows all that When you're at your lowest of your lows, I want you to know I think more of you than what you could yourself. I thank you, Jesus. And my love is deeper than the ocean, and it's wider than the valleys. It's higher than the mountains. I give my son for you, it's alright He's, he's by your side And he'll, he'll take good care of you Yes, he will, yes, he will It's alright He's on your side And he Go, that you go through. Yes, 
Yes, he does go through. Yes, he does. For the scribes and the Pharisees They wouldn't dance and they wouldn't follow me I came for the fishermen, for James and John They came with me and the dance went on Dance then, wherever you may be For I am the Lord of the dance, said he And I'll lead you all, wherever you may be And I'll lead you all in the dance, said he 
They danced on the Sabbath and I cured the leg. The holy people said it was a shame. They whipped and they stripped and they hung me high and they left me there on a cross to die. On a Friday when the sky turned black It's hard to dance with the world on your back They buried my body and they thought I'd go And I still go on. Dance then, where Dance I am, then, where I am, I am the Lord of the Rhymes, the, the Lord of the Dancing, wherever you may be, and wherever you may be, and I'll be the Lord of the Dancing. The 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 they cut me down, and I left up high. I am the life that will never, never die. I'll live in you if you'll live in me. I am the Lord of the dance, said he. Dance, dance, wherever you may be. For I am the Lord of the dance, said he. And I'll lead you all wherever you may be. And I'll lead you all in the dance. The dance in the
to my knees will I fall or will I sing hallelujah will I be able to speak at all I can only You know, um, there was a young girl who lived quite a while ago and um, she married her husband and, and after a period of time that they were together, they decided to have a baby. And so they tried to have a baby and, you know, for as long as she could remember, she always wanted to be a mother. So she was so excited about this. And then when she fell pregnant, you know, she saw how her baby grew inside of her and I've never had a baby of my own, but a lot of mothers tell me that it is one of the most exciting things, you know, watching your child just grow inside of you. And, you know, she was so excited for this day to come and and her and her husband prepared the nursery for her baby to have a room when they came home and everything was ready. Everyone was happy. Everyone was excited. And and the day was coming when she was going to give birth to this baby. She grew up with seven brothers. So being the only girl in her family, she hoped that she would have a little girl of her own. You know, the day came when she went to the hospital and knowing that this is the last time that it was just going to be her and her husband because when she came home, she would bring back her little bundle of joy. So she went and she had a cesarean. So the husband, I mean, the doctor came up to her and said, okay, we're going to put you to sleep now. And when you wake up, I'll give you your baby. So she went to sleep. And when she woke up, The doctor didn't give her a baby. Instead, he gave her some news and he just said, look, there's been a little bit of complications and your daughter, which by the way, you did have a little baby girl, your daughter has gone to the children's hospital because just something's going wrong and we're just checking it out. And she thought to herself, okay, this is not exactly how I planned it, but that's okay. You know, God's got it and, you know, I'm just going to hope that everything's going to be okay. And 24 hours after that, the doctor and the nurse walked into her hospital room and asked for everyone to leave except for the immediate family. And the doctor said to her and her husband, they said, we're really sorry we did everything that we could, but your baby has passed away. And at that moment when she heard those news, she thought to herself, wow, this really isn't how I planned it. And her whole world had just been flipped upside down because for the last nine months she had been carrying this baby. But for her whole life, she had wanted this baby. And she thought, what am I going to do? How am I going to handle this? You know, she believed in God and she was a, a, a Christian. And so she just thought, well, I have to put my faith to the test. And after her breakdown moment, after she, you know, cried all her tears out, she thought, I'm just going to be strong and wait on the Lord because I know that the Lord's going to help me through this situation. 
And she asked the doctor, when can I try for another baby? And the doctor was a little bit surprised because he was like, okay, well, you can try in six weeks. So three months after that, she fell pregnant again. And everyone was a little bit anxious, wondering what's going to happen. You know, is this going to, is this going to work out? Is this baby going to be healthy? And on the 29th of November, 1985, her first child passed away. And on the 26th of November, 1986, I was born. And I don't tell this story to glorify my entrance into this world at all. I tell it to boast in the faith that my mother had. Not to boast in my mother, but to boast in the faith that she had. Because from somewhere inside of her, from a little girl, she had been taught about this God. And from the inside of her, she had to bring out this strength to carry through. And you know what? This is just one situation. This is just one story that we tell. But I know that in life, we struggle with many different things. And there's an enemy out there who's going to try very hard to bring you down in every way possible. But just like the faith that my mother had and the faith that a lot of people had that we read in the Bible... That faith is real today that we can have. Because whatever situation it is that you're going through, I don't know what it is, but I know that God knows. And not not only does He know the situation that you're going through, but He knows the answer to that situation. He knows what's going to happen. He's been through it before with many other people, and He's going to continue to help people through this problem or this issue or this crisis. And you know, I want to encourage you because we are a bunch of young people who travel around singing about God because each and every one of us have had a personal encounter with Jesus Christ. And that's the reason why we can stand up here and talk about Him. It's the reason why we can sing about Him. I believe it's the reason why we can smile and have joy in our lives because God has given us that joy. And I want to share that joy with each and every one of you because choosing God as number one in my life has been the best thing that I've ever done. And I know I can speak on behalf of everyone here that it is the best decision that we could have ever made. And, you know, I know that it's going to be hard and I know that there's going to be a lot of challenges. But let me tell you that when you're holding the hand of the creator of the universe, nothing can come against you. And anything that does will fall away. Because I believe in a God that says all things are possible through Christ who strengthens me. And I believe in a God who says whatever comes at you, I am going to get you through this. Because He's the way, the truth, and the life. And I'm going to just, we're going to sing a song right now, and it is called None But Jesus. And the reason why we sing this song is because we have decided to make Jesus Christ number one in our lives. And through everything, thick or thin, whatever situation we go through, we're going to put Him first. And the words are going to be up on the screen. If you know the song, feel free to sing along with us. But we just want to encourage you that although putting Jesus as number one in your life can be one of the hardest things, it is the best thing. This is number Jesus. quiet and in the stillness I know that you are God and in the secret of your presence I know there I am restored and where song through 
your eyes. I just want to pray for you right now and pray that at this moment you will open your heart to God. You will let Him in, whether it be for the first time, whether it be for the millionth time, doesn't matter. He wants to come in and wants to be first in your life. So Father God, I just want to thank you that you have brought us here tonight right now, God. And I, I just pray that you will enter into each and every one of our hearts, God. And I pray for the child of yours that is seated here right now, that is struggling with something, that is burdened with something, I just pray that because you know what they're going through, that you would just pour down your Holy Spirit upon their lives, you will bless them, God, and you'll pick them up, Lord God, and you'll carry them through to, to victory. Father, we thank you so much for being a, a merciful God. We love you so much. In your name we pray, amen. Amen. You know, 24 years ago, a group of young people got together and they decided that they wanted to go out and do full-time ministry. And they hopped into two vans and they started to make their way all the way to Perth on the other side of Australia. And, you know, halfway through their trip, one of their vans broke down and they had to decide in that moment, are we just going to go back to Sydney where everyone told us that we were too young to do full-time ministry? You know, we didn't have enough money, enough of this, enough of that. Or are we just going to go forth and just go to Perth like we believe that God has called us to do and just to spread His gospel around this country? And because of that decision that those young people made 24 years ago, you now have us here standing in front of you tonight. And, you know, the beautiful thing about Endless Praise is that we have remained a faith ministry for those whole 24 years. This is something that we do day to day, living by faith, just relying on God to provide for our needs. And... Um, you know what, tonight we're going to take up a love offering. And this is just your opportunity to give to this ministry if you'd like to be a part of us in that way. And um, just know that whatever it is that you contribute tonight just goes to helping us get to the next place, to the next school, to the next church, or to the next wherever it might be that we're called. So those that have been appointed, if you could take up that offering, that would be awesome. That's great. And... Um, while that offering's being taken up, I just want to let you guys know that we have our music here tonight. So if you're interested in getting any of our music, you can just come and see Ladine, and she will suss you out with that tonight. And um, we also have sponsorship forms available. So if you're interested in sponsoring a ministry like ours, you can definitely be a part of us in that way. We encourage you to do that. You can also see um, Ladine about that as well. 
And I guess the most important way that you can support EP is just through prayer. We travel a lot of kilometers. We sing to a lot of kids who have no idea who Jesus is. And we were at a public school this morning, not too far from here. I don't know how to spell it, say the Toldor, name. Toldor Area School. Yep. Okay. So we were there today. We had an awesome time with the kids. We did workshops and, and a concert and just a bunch of stuff. And it's just amazing how God puts those opportunities in front of us just to go and speak to kids who have no idea who Jesus is and just to tell them that they're awesome and just encourage them. So more than praying for us, just pray for the hearts um, of the kids and just for everyone that um, will just hear the message that you heard tonight. And that's just the message of Jesus Christ. And pray for us. We're heading back to Auckland. We're at Calvary tomorrow morning. So um, pray for traveling mercies. I think we've got an early morning. So um, it's going to be awesome to be over at Calvary. And then we're at a Spanish church tomorrow night. There you go. Oh, like all my stuffs. So um, that'll be fun too. But it's just been fantastic being in New Zealand. It's been fantastic being here in Whangarei. Is that how you say it? Whangarei? Oh, so bad. But um, it's great to be here. And we just pray that you guys have had a blessed night. And just pray that you'll just have a blessed Sabbath and a great rest of your weekend. So thank you guys so much. God bless. They've used up all the sound. <laughs> Hey, I'd like to thank Endless Praise once again for coming uh, and entertaining us tonight. And uh, we can really give God the glory, can't we? All right. But uh, grown-ups and kids, you've had your turn this Friday. And uh, it's for the kids again next Friday night because we've got amazing adventure next Friday. So I'm sure all of you have got children or grandchildren. Bring them along next Friday night, 7 o'clock, the same time because we've got a real uh, surprise for them. Thanks again for coming, and we'll see you in heaven with these guys. Okay. Bye-bye.